はい、パイコン JPTV です。鈴木孝則です。え、今日はパイ、えっ、ー、と、パイコン US2023 のカンファレンスデーの参加3日目ですね。で、3日目は午前中が、あのポスターセッションっていうのとジョブフェアここに書いてますけどっていうのやってるんでちょっとそれを見ていこうと思いますってことでまずはポスターのこんな感じで掲示してますよって一緒に見ながらちょっと行こうかなと思うんですけど、まあ、こんな感じですね横から見るとあの黒い黒いホワイトボードなんか変だな黒いホワイトボードがだーっと並んでてあそこに A0 ぐらいのサイズがポスターが24まあ、全部貼ってるか分かんないですけど24個ぐらい出ていてでそれぞれのところに多分そのポスターの発表者さんがいて、まあ、来た人すごい、ね、興味のある人がこうやって寄ってはなんかこれってどういう発表なのみたいな話とかをしているっていう感じですねなんか結構にぎわってるとことかもあってすごいなぁと思っておりますあちなみに私これ2019年にポスターセッションで出しましたんで懐かしいなという気持ちもあります。Yeah. Hello,、uh, this is Jun Gi Gim from Korea, and、uh, I'm running a startup called、uh, LevelUp,、uh, which makes an MROS platform、uh, based on Python and a s y n c i ecosystem. And also, I'm part of an AI Lips organization, which handles,、uh, uh, develops many of a s y n c i related、uh, libraries. So,、uh, in this PyCon US 20, 2023,、uh, I'm going to introduce one of my work、uh, called AI o Monitor NG, the next generation. So it's, uh, uh, it's about improving the vulnerability of complex async IO applications. So,、uh, in real world deployments of async IO applications, you often face、uh, problems like memory leaks or、uh, the CPU utilization issues because of. Because there are too many tasks uh, spawned uh, than expected and things like that.、Uh, so, we need some kind of live inspection, debugging tool、uh, over running async IO application. So,、uh, previously,、uh, AI Monitor、uh, was written by Andrew Svetlov, which is, who is the maintainer of async IO core library.、Uh, But it only provided a very simple talent interface uh, uh, that provided a live list of tasks and、uh, which is the current stack trace of individual tasks.、Uh, but I have added uh, more uh, features to this library,、uh, such as task creation chains and termination chains to.、Uh, To get to know which task has created your task and so on,、uh, all these chains up to the event loop. So, in this way, you can inspect uh, uh, any resource hogging problems if there are any third party libraries, for example,、uh, which sponsor your callbacks or tasks too much.、Uh, then you can see what's happening、uh, inside your nested stack trace. So,、uh, this feature allows you to debug like Uh, resource problems in、uh, production deployments like that. Also, you can uh, inspect uh, the already terminated task. So, we have,、uh, I have added several、uh, special commands to inspect the、uh, terminated task and when they are terminated and、uh, at which point of the stack they are terminated and things like that uh, to uh, like, uh, inspect. Uh, why they are terminated、uh, after some time pass uh, in the uh, system. Yeah. So, yeah,、um, I hope that this would help other async IO developers and users to、uh, debug their、uh, problems and systems and make it more、uh, stable. Yeah, that's my work. Thank you. まあ、こういう形式です。My name is Ashton Palacios. This is Chris Kittris. We are PhD students from Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. And we have developed what we call the, our seven segment sign. Yeah. 
So, like, what do we want to talk about? Um, well, let's just start from the beginning. Okay. Um, PCB boards. So we took the age-old seven-segment little displays that you normally find in old alarm clocks, and we took over 1,100 of them, slammed them into panels, and then put 12 of these panels into a sign. Yeah. And so taking, can I oh, take a look at this panel? Um, so on this panel, you can see that we have 16 by 6 of these digits, and they're all controlled by a Mac 7219. Uh, the chip isn't in there, but that's where they would go. And these are all daisy chained together, so these all function as one uh, SPI client. And we have 12 of these panels in this display right here. And so if you look at the back of our project, you'll see that it's all controlled by a Raspberry Pi, and there's a spike controller on there that controls the 12 different clients that are here, and that's done through the Python library SpyDev. And then we build on top of SpyDev to have a library that'll help you draw pixels and kind of abstract away all of the hardware stuff so that we can you know, break out more interesting things like videos and games and, and what have you, you know? Yeah, like Chris said, we, we built our own custom graphics library that talks to the SpyDev so that users just have a nice, easy interface where they'll call, let's draw a line, and it'll just draw a line for you at your given coordinates. On top of this graphics library, we created what we call more or less an operating system, all completely in Python, where this operating system, more or less a scheduler, takes and dynamically loads our demos and allows the, de the demo to draw things to the screen. Yeah, and this project is like 100% open source, so if you had enough of these you know, digits and time, you could completely make it yourself. Um, on top of that though, the code is open sourced and we've built a, a simulator for the screen in Pygame so that if you just wanted to see if your code would technically work with our system, you could do that and have just as much, well, probably just as much fun, yeah. Yeah, our ultimate dream is yes, it is open source, so people can download the simulator. They, we have a, a read the docs, where people can go learn about how to create a demo. And we, we hope people create demos on their local computer and then give us a pull request and then we can put it on the actual hardware and showcase it for everybody else. That's right. Our repo is at um, net-byu slash sss on GitHub. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hi. じゃあ、今度はですね、え、ジョブフェアですね。さっきはポスターのを見たんですけど、ジョブフェアっていうのを見て回っていこうと思います。ということで、ジョブフェアはいろんな企業がそのリクルーティングをするためにブースを出していて
Yes, sir. 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 Y